In today's video, I'm going to teach you the tough lessons I had to learn when I first started a balloon business. And I don't want you to make the same mistakes, so I'm giving you what I should have done back then when I first started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel with My Inspiring Designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire the event designer in you. If you're new here on my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified on all the decor, balloon designs, and event business tips that I give here on my channel. And in case you were wondering, this was my last video. If you want to know how to charge an organic balloon garland that's worth $500, Feel free to click the link down below or go on my channel and find that video because it's definitely going to teach you how to do so. Alright, so you clicked on this video because you're starting a balloon business and you're probably in the beginning stages and maybe you've made some of these mistakes and if you didn't, good because now we're going to get you a lot more successful a lot faster based on the lessons that I've learned when it came to starting my balloon business. So if you want to know the lessons I've learned when I first started and what I would do now, please keep watching. Some of you have been watching me a long time and some of you just found me. Either way, the first lesson that I definitely wouldn't have done ever again in my entire life <laughs> is use Amazon kits or Party City balloons with my paying clients. In this video right here, I didn't know any better so I was utilizing whatever I had, giving recommendations when I first started because when I first started, I was teaching on YouTube as well so I was learning as I was evolving on YouTube and there were some tough lessons I learned along the way. Paying clients should get the highest quality balloons when it comes to your business, especially if you have a balloon business. So if you're starting a balloon business, here are the top brand names of balloons that you can use with paying clients. Now be mindful that not all of these brands are available everywhere around the world. What I would do is click the link down below. I either give you the Instagram or the website of where you can find some of these brands. Obviously, it's not the end all be all. You can obviously find them all over the place. The next lesson that I learned when it came to starting my balloon business is never assume lower prices bring more clients. Oh boy, this was a tough one <laughs> and I still struggle to this day, but that's okay because you have to understand there are clients for every type of business and every income level of a business. When it comes to charging your prices, just understand that lower prices does not guarantee a lot of clients in the door. In fact, you're probably going to be attracting the wrong clients, especially clients who are going to stretch every coin that you have when it comes to your design. I had to learn this the tough way because I was charging $75 for something like this when in actuality the people in my community were charging a lot more. I've told this story before but one of my clients is actually the one who told me when she hired me she said you were the cheapest one all around because everybody was charging this amount and you were way below and that's when I knew I had to learn how to price differently. So here's my advice. Be confident with what you deliver. Not everybody can do what you do, so make sure it's worth your time. Some people are going to say, hey, if I give you the Amazon kits, would you do it? No, you are providing a luxury service to anyone and everyone. So you can't use Amazon. Something I would have done differently is actually create an Amazon kit and create a high quality balloon design and show the difference on your social media. It's the only way that you can kind of validate why your services are priced the way they are. And it basically speaks for itself. A lot of these Amazon sellers utilize pictures that are not true and very false when it comes to promoting their product. So you want to make sure you're educating your clients or potential clients when it comes to your balloon business. This way they can know that you're worth the time, the effort, and definitely the price. The next lesson I learned when it came to starting my balloon business is just because people say no doesn't mean anything about you. I'm about to get real personal, but it's for a good reason. Growing up, I had such a fear of rejection that I would be the biggest people pleaser there was to known to man. <laughs> I would literally make sure nobody rejects me to the point where I feel so alone and so down. Like, I wouldn't even put myself out there. In fact, I've never asked a boy out in my entire life. <laughs> Everyone who I've ever been with has always come to me. And it's for a reason because I refuse to feel rejected. Obviously, that's different now because I'm married, but 
he asked me out. I didn't do it. Well, he didn't really ask me out either, but you know, that's neither here or there. Now, what does this have to do with your balloon business? Well, the fear of rejection. Fear of rejection is all over your business if you avoid or you get really depressed when people tell you no. There have been times in my balloon business where I was getting non-stop no's. Nobody wanted to pay my prices. And to this day, I still struggle when it comes to finding clients who are the perfect fit because some people don't see the value of what you're bringing. But the solution to this problem is keep going. There's someone out there that can literally pay your prices without hesitation. I've seen it with a couple of designers that I've coached in my coaching program. They have even charged the same client four times what they charged them the first time. So when I see results like this, I know that you're able to find people who are willing to pay. It's all about your mindset and believing it to be true because whatever you're attracting, it says a lot about you versus the other way around. And if you didn't know, our membership for Design Your Dreams Society is now open and we really discuss about the mindset shifts that it takes for you to become that CEO, how to really get over the fear of rejection, how to build those confidence and really charge your worth when it comes to your pricing. If you're interested, feel free to click the link down below. I'll leave it for you and you can definitely see if it's the right fit. The next lesson that I learned when it came to starting my balloon business Business is your first client will probably be a family a friend or someone that knows someone that you know if that makes sense <laughs> I know on my channel I say stop giving discounts to your family and friends but let's be real the first paying client that you'll probably get even if it is under your price point will probably be a family family friend or a family that knows someone who needs your services i was tired of getting discounts to my family my friends people who knew my family and friends so i was just like you know what i'm not asking for help when in actuality the first few clients that came into my business was because of my family and friends so find the ones who will support you 1000%. I have so many people in my family and in my circle that are willing to support my business as soon as I ask for help. In Design Your Dream Society, I talk about how to utilize your family and friends to work in your favor while negotiating some things with them when it comes to designing your services. So that way you're able to get yourself out there without going into the hole of the negative in your business. Yes, our family and friends can drive us crazy, but they're the first clients that are going to come into the door of your business. So don't shy away from them too early. The next lesson that I learned when it came to starting my balloon business is just because you charge X amount of dollars doesn't mean it's all profit. What do I mean by this? Well, I used to get so excited when I would charge $200, $300 for ballooned garlands, but I never tracked the numbers in my business. So therefore the $300 in my account was like, Woohoo! I got $300. It's not all profit, duh. This is why making sure you track the numbers in your business, what's going in, what's going out, and how much is left over is super important when it comes to running a business. Now, don't get me wrong. Some of your side hustles act like businesses, but your business shouldn't act like a side hustle if that makes sense. Now, if you're running a side hustle and you just want some extra cash, the $300 or whatever you make from the balloon business is cool. But I'm really talking to those of you who want to leave your nine to five, who want to build generational wealth, who want to be on your own and build a team to create a legacy that you can leave behind with your family and friends, maybe just your family. So here's the solution. You have to act as if a six, seven figure entrepreneur, what would they do in your shoes? Would they just celebrate a little bit of money or would they know how much of that price point is going to paying your team, is going to taxes, is going to wherever else in the business that you need that money to go to? That's what I mean when it comes to acting as if. Although you may not have a team, you may not even have a lot of money, you might not even have a lot of clients. But when you show up as the CEO that you see yourself becoming in the future, you kind of reverse engineer and God, universe, source kind of shifts things in your reality to produce where you want to go and it all starts from today so do yourself a favor track your numbers know how much money's coming in and out of the door of your business and i guarantee you 
you might not be making enough. The next lesson that I learned when it came to starting my balloon business is always have a starting price. When I first started my balloon business, I would never know how much to charge anyone, let alone factoring anything else when it came to running my business. I had no idea how much time it would take, where the location of the event is, whether it was outside, indoors, when it comes to setting up, researching, fine balloon suppliers, high quality balloons, different balloon prices, and then overall just trying to make money from this business. Can y'all tell I was stressed? <laughs> When you have a starting point, this is basically your bare minimum. You are not going to go lower this no matter who the person is. That's right, including your family and friends. A base price and a starting price is a lot easier to build on versus being scatterbrained like how I used to be when it came to selling your balloon designs. And remember, this advice can go anywhere in the event industry, let alone business 101. But I want to make sure that you guys understand that these are tough lessons I learned when I first started my balloon business and I don't want you guys to make the same mistakes. So that is all I have for you all. I hope you all have learned some valuable lessons. Take notes, rewatch it, share it with someone who wants to start an event business because I think this is very valuable information that's not really shared on the internet, let alone in real life, right? A lot of people are stubborn about sharing the things that they don't want other people to know. So I'm here to support you. If you're just starting out, you just developed this creative skill and now you wanna turn it into a serious business, feel free to click the link down below to join Design Your Dream Society. There are some special pricing for those of you who sign up before September 12th. Otherwise, the price will go up for that society. If you're watching this after September 12th, 2021, feel free to check out the link because I'm sure it's still going to be affordable for you, especially if you want to take this creative side hustle, turn it into a real business. Well, designers, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you continue designing your dreams into reality and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, stressed. Stressed. I'm still stressed. A lot of no's. Right? It's like getting punched in the face all the time. But you know what? Keep going because I will.